Bill O'Reilly here, Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening across our nation. Abortion hysteria breaks out after a leaked Supreme Court deliberation. President Biden's approval rating plunging in Massachusetts, of all places. Unhappy Americans fleeing California. COVID returning to New York City. Also ahead, Mexico is a disaster. But first, someone inside the Supreme Court leaked deliberations on abortion. Justice Samuel Alito apparently is writing a draft that would return abortion lawmaking to the states. The website Politico got the leaked information, which has not been confirmed, but is probably true. The Supreme Court will issue its decision on abortion in June, and the likely outcome is that Roe v. Wade will be revoked as not reflecting constitutional authority. We, as they say, will see. The president's approval rating plummeting in deep blue New England. A survey from the Boston Globe says just 46% of people in Massachusetts still support Mr. Biden. 56% say the country's moving in the wrong direction. Only one third of voters under the age of 30 think old Joe is doing a good job. Biden beat Trump in Massachusetts by 33 points in 2020. California's population declining again. 200,000 people fled the Golden State last year. Biggest destinations out, Texas, Idaho, Florida, Montana. Factors behind the West Coast exodus include the homeless crisis there, crime, taxes, and the high cost of living. A gallon of gas in L.A. and San Francisco now will set you back $6. Health officials in New York City raising the COVID threat level. The five boroughs now considered medium risk for residents and travelers for the first time in three months. The new classification means more regulations could be announced, including mask mandates. The city reporting 2,000 infections each day, but that's down from 40,000 in January. To date, 67,000 New Yorkers have died from COVID. In a moment... Lots of folks dying in Mexico by gunfire. That's next. A criminal found the title to my friend's home online, forged his name, replaced him as a new owner on the title. That is called home title theft. And my friend spent a lot of money trying to get his title back. Real estate crimes and losses are not rare. According to the FBI, this crime is growing faster than credit card fraud, if you can believe it. And you're not covered by homeowners insurance or common identity theft programs. Home Title Lock has earned my trust. They put a barrier around your home's title, instantly detect anyone tampering with your home's title, and mobilize to help shut it down. Here's what I urge you to do. Please go to HomeTitleLock.com. Read the testimonials from government officials. Register your home address to see if you're already a victim and you don't know it. And when you protect your home, Tell them O'Reilly sent you to get my listener discount. HomeTitleLock.com, HomeTitleLock.com. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. Mexico is a disaster. First, the data. Average income in Mexico, $5,000 a year. 45% of the population lives in poverty down there. Less than 15% of the Mexican population has a college degree. Compared to other Latin American countries, Mexico ranks last in life expectancy. Less than 10% of Mexicans have private health insurance. Most hospitals are run by the government. Mexico offers welfare programs to the poor, elderly, and disabled, but they are capped at 550 bucks a year. That's all. Mexico spends 9% of its total budget on social welfare programs. Most other Latin American countries spend 24%. Crime stats in Mexico. 
there were 40,000 homicides in 2021. By comparison, 16,000 murdered in the USA. We have a population 2.5 times higher than Mexico. An additional 30,000 people are reported missing in Mexico. Mostly, they are murdered, dead. Of the 10 most dangerous cities in the world, Five are in Mexico, Tijuana, Juarez, Acapulco, Mexico City, Monterrey. In November 2021, Mexico deployed 2,000 troops to patrol tourist places like Cancun because of cartel shootouts. More than 66% of businesses in Mexico say dealing with corruption is a daily part of life. On the narcotics front, There are 25 different drug cartels in Mexico. Total, 200,000 plus individuals working for the drug rings. Biggest is the Sinaloa Cartel, founded in 1988. The cartels move about $100 billion worth of narcotics into the USA every year. 95% of cocaine sold here passes through Mexico, It is also the largest supplier of heroin, marijuana, and fentanyl into America. So now you know exactly why millions of Mexicans want to live in the USA. And who can blame them? I have always said, if I were a poor Mexican man with a family, I would try to sneak into the USA to get money to support my family. However... The United States government cannot allow millions of foreign nationals to come in here unregulated, which is what is happening under the Biden administration. The only solution to Mexico's problem is to designate the drug cartels as terrorists and then Obrador, the president of Mexico, allies with the USA to attack the terrorists with military force. That is the only solution down there. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. If you'd like more honest news analysis, please visit BillOReilly.com, where you can see me on television each night. In a moment, something you might not know. As you know, inflation is almost out of control thanks to the policies of this administration. Retirement accounts are especially vulnerable right now, because when inflation goes up, your dollar savings go down. So how do you protect your hard-earned wealth? Please call the people I trust at American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts against inflation by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver, and they make it easy. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. All it takes is a quick call, and they will deliver physical gold and silver right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Plus, tell them O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you up to $1,500 of free silver on your first order. So please don't wait. 877-444-GOLD-GOLD. Or text GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Today, the 11th killing book is out. Killing the Killers, The Secret War Against Terrorists is on the internet sites like Amazon and Barnes & Noble in the bookstores. It is this book, Killing the Killers, the best reporting I have ever done. We will show you how the United States tracks down and assassinates the world's most dangerous terrorists, Bin Laden, Soleimani, Baghdadi, Boko Haram, on and on. The book is based on classified information, things you do not know. And we were lucky enough to convince national security advisors from the administrations of Bush the Younger, all the way through Trump, to talk to us and to give us information. It is stunning. 
The stories in Killing the Killers are harrowing. Kayla Muller, 26 years old, humanitarian worker from Arizona, kidnapped by ISIS in Syria, raped by al-Baghdadi himself, and murdered. When you read this, you will be furious. And al-Baghdadi and ISIS taunted Kayla's family in Phoenix. It's unbelievable what happened. Now, we get into coerced interrogation. That is now banned in the USA, but did you know America still does it? We contract it out. And that coerced interrogation led directly to the killing of al-Baghdadi, the ISIS leader. We get into the U.S. weapons systems. A lot of people are panicked by Putin's threats to use nukes. After you read Killing the Killers, you will see the United States has the most powerful weapons on this planet, and they are in space and can be used at any time. I don't know whether this is a relief to you or not, but it's something you should know. Finally, Killing the Killers is, as I said, the 11th Killing book, the most successful nonfiction book series of all time, 19 million copies of my books in print, 17 number one bestsellers. So I hope you will check out Killing the Killers. Back after this. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost, month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800 800- 925-7584 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-925-7584. That's 800-925-7584. What do you have to lose? Call 800-925-7584. Again, 800-925-7584. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.